Atlanta versus Paris. Now, I think it's pretty clear that Atlanta should come out on top of this one, but there is one way that I could see Paris potentially causing the upset. They would have to do it in the respawns. Based off of what we saw last weekend, ATL showed uh, that they were definitely a mortal team. They definitely could bleed, and a lot of that shakiness, it did come in the respawns. If we see Paris come out, play lights out, and start to steal a couple of those, that could be the way to win the series, but it's definitely gonna be difficult. London versus Optic Game in LA. London are a team which I think are very middle of the pack right now. Recently made a change, obviously Shawnee coming in and going up against a very struggling Optic Gaming. These guys have had failure after failure. Uh, these guys currently sit with only two wins, seven losses. And with a roster full of that talent, I honestly don't know what the answer is. I think it's going to be a very difficult series for them. Is it a series that they can win? Absolutely. Is it a series that they can shock everyone with? Yes. Right now, the London Royal Ravens, they look like the stronger team. I think they are going to be the ones to come out victorious. I'm thinking maybe a game four, game five victory for the London Royal Ravens going up against Optic Game in LA. My prediction for the Toronto Ultra versus New York Subliner Series is that the Toronto Ultra are going to come out on top. The last time we saw those guys play is they played against the Mutineers and the Dallas Empire. They actually beat the Mutineers once they traded series. And yes, they lost to the Empire, but in a game five fashion. The last time we saw them play, they played against our two most recent champions, and they looked pretty good in spite of the loss. I think the extra time, plus the fact that they were able to watch the Subliners play just two weeks ago, are going to be just enough to put Toronto over the edge for a 3-2 victory. So let's talk about our Game Fuel marquee matchup. It's going to be Florida going up against Minnesota. The last time we saw these two teams play was back in the Dallas home series. We see a big, big win there for Florida. Now, this is going to be a very interesting matchup because the winner of this one quite literally becomes fourth place in the standings. We are battling two teams with 100 points each at the time of recording. I do think Florida have got a certain sort of, you know, a bit of a confidence going in this one, a little bit more to prove to themselves. Do I think they're going to take the series? Maybe. It does come down to how well Minnesota are going to be playing against the Rope Man Havoc. That's the biggest difference for me. If you can see a weakness there in the Florida roster, it's maybe their ability to handle those toe-to-toe -to -toe individual skill gunfights. Still leaning towards a Florida win here, and I'm thinking it's going to be a 3-1, maybe a 3-2. I hear a bold prediction. New York has the potential to win the entirety of this tournament. I, I know that it's absolutely wild to say that. Not only do they look like a completely new squad, they're starting to look like a god squad with Mac now. And ATL maybe showed some signs of weakness. This might be the weekend that New York is able to take the whole shebang -a bang lang dang 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 For my bold prediction, I'm seeing London take the whole thing. I'm seeing them go from literal start to finish, all good in the hood for them. They take on Optic first game, and then they play the winner of Paris versus FaZe. Last time London and FaZe matched up, it was a pretty close series. I just genuinely believe London have had a bit of time to work out their problems. They're going to be raring to go after the loss there in the Chicago home series, and they're going all the way, baby. Roll Britannia! The victory will be taken by Atlanta FaZe. There is no Dallas, no Chicago at this event. I think this is a 50 points that Atlanta Face should get. It will return them to the top. If they do it, they will sit with 170 CDL points. My prediction for who is going to win the entire event, I'm going to go with the London Royal Ravens, be a little bit spicy and see if those guys can get their first chip. The last time we saw those guys play, yes, they struggled in a couple defeats, but incredibly close games against two of the best teams. And I think the two weeks are going to add to their hunger, their motivation. They're going to go back to the drawing board and work out all those little kinks. And plus, the bracket actually shapes up for them fairly nicely long term. I really think this is going to be the tournament that the London Royal Ravens see their first win.